What is happening guys, Smites Games here, back with another video, and today I want to talk to you guys about why you should be excited for Halo Infinite, and what is going to set it apart from the other shooters. So let's get straight into it. First of all, Halo is due to be released around Christmas time, around the festival season. So with that in mind, it means that Microsoft do need Halo to actually be a hit. They don't want it to flop, they don't want it to be overhyped, they need it to be a hit, and they've remastered the multiplayer completely, with a whole sandbox aspect. You can use a grapple hook to get around the map. You can use a grapple hook to pull weapons in. You have a whole new set of abilities and different perks and stuff that you can use when you're fighting around on the multiplayer mode. It looks absolutely crazy, the amount of stuff that you can do and interact with and make it easier for you to flank the enemy and attack the enemy. So with that being said, one of the next things that I am very, very excited for will be the customization. The customization on this game seems to be incredible. You can customize everything from your armor, to your weapon it appears even your warthog can be customized this time around so if you wanted to you could dissect your whole armor set you could put on different pieces of armor and change it completely make your own unique player that is what they're trying to go for they're trying to go for the uniqueness of the player and they're trying to look out for the players and trying to make sure that this whole game is focused on the gamer itself and they've done many things such as the game pass which will let you play it on day one, which is crazy, absolutely crazy. So if you guys have the Game Pass, you can play Halo Infinite on day one, on the day of the release, which is crazy. You can also have a Battle Pass. So they're doing a Battle Pass type of scheme. And on the Battle Pass is that if you pay for it once, you never have to pay again. And many, many games need to do this type of thing. It's looking out for the gamer and it makes sure that you guys always get enjoyment and there's always people coming back to the game. So therefore, there'll always be new content, loads of things getting added in and a content rotation on Halo Infinity because of this, because of the player base will be so massive, so big. Is it a comeback? What do you guys think? Please let me know. Please make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell and I'll see you guys in the next one.